Um, and finally, oh, not finally, I have more stuff, but I want to talk about the, the clown guy. This is the guy that does the channel thing on YouTube and, um, lost it all chasing the clussy. He has a video. I've not watched it. It actually was uh, just suggested in the math internet thread right before I started the stream. So we'll be watching this together chat. What does he have to say about his clussy chasing past? Let's find out together. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Verbal Ace. Um, oh my gosh, it's been a very crazy time of year. I've been getting a lot of emails that got me emotional, but not in the way you think. It's a lot of people coming out to support me during these difficult times uh, with all the slander, defamation, and allegations being made against me. I was expecting everybody to like just believe in everything they read online, but instead, a lot of people were emailing me saying that they still support me, and that honestly made me want to cry. And it also made me want to make this video for everybody that's still a fan of me. First off, I want to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to you guys for still supporting me. And second off, I want to sincerely apologize for my statements made. You know, I'm just thinking like... <laughs> Hold up, I want to... I remember when um, I pulled this guy's channel up. Oh, is this like his, oh, this is like his side channel. Okay. That's okay. It's on his side channel. Cause I was just thinking like, um, there is a video that he did where he like did a special thing for a, a young girl. He was like a fan of his channel. And I'm just thinking like, I'm imagining like a six year old girl watching this video where he has to explain about the classy. <laughs> and it made me laugh. Uh, this is on his side channel though. So she's probably not following it online about my opinions with some of the stuff going on out there but i realized my opinions was based on a broad perspective because i've been watching other other youtube channels you know talk about uh stuff going on in hollywood and that kind of influenced my own state of mind when i started making these comments out there so i'm like wait i'm i'm a buddhist i believe everybody should be at peace with each other. Instead of focusing on our similarities, I was focusing similarities. More on our differences, which caused me to make those statements out there. And I am sincerely sorry for that because that is not how I should be behaving as a person. We're all here for a reason. I myself was bullied in high school just for being myself. Uh, beatboxing. He kept beatboxing in class. He <laughs> was like, uh, like, Ace, why did you, uh, why did you fail this test? My dog ate it. And everyone was like, what the fuck is wrong with this retard? And then they started making fun of him, but then he said, I'm a Buddhist. And then they couldn't make fun of him anymore because that would be a hate crime. Um, I was a nerd, a geeky kid. I didn't walk, talk, and act like all the other kids. And I got bullied and picked on for that. And it's kind of weird that I didn't find the similarity in what other people out there may be going through just because you're not acting how somebody else thinks you should act because I went through that. But I got influenced through, you know, social media articles and different videos out there instead of thinking with my own authentic mind. And I really do apologize for that because I'm not that kind of person. I've never been that person in my past videos on YouTube and everything like that. So, but I am human being. Uh, just because I'm an influencer doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes. Uh, but I am taking this whole experience to learn from it and grow from it. Uh, I'm not going to take it as somebody going to be defeated. Like, why would you let an experience defeat you? you it feels like he uh, programmed person. an AI to write this. I need to apologize for making a clussy video, but I don't want to actually admit to anything in particular. I just want empty platitudes. Can I do that? I think I got rid of my um, chat GPT account, but does the Bing one work? Let's see. Copilot, please write me a one paragraph apology using as much as many empty platitudes and, and meaningless statements as possible. So I've had issues with the, the Bing AI thing. Oh, here we go. Here's a possible paragraph. Okay, here it comes. It's coming in. I am deeply sorry for any inconvenience I may have caused you. I value your feedback and appreciate your understanding. I hope you can forgive me and give me another chance to make it up to you. I assure you that this will not happen again, and I will do everything in my power to improve the situation. Thank you for your patience and cooperation. 
I mean, I think it's right on. Is that not what he's saying? Is it word for word, right? That's pretty much exactly what he's saying. What I'm going to do from now on, instead of focusing on our natural differences, I'm going to focus on our similarities. That's what I'm going to focus on from now similarities. on. Similarities. Regarding the video, um, this actually was started in 2021 by a company called Cough or something, and it was finished in 2022. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. So when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel, marked the video as not made for kids. You have to be 18 older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. I think the video was even unlisted. After it was up for a while, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because I still want to focus on the other stuff. So I deleted the video and deleted the channel. Um, little did I know, somebody saw the video and downloaded it and re-uploaded it and made it public on my birthday and decided to tag me in the video. But again, this video was intended for a mature audience and I wanted to just like put some different type of content out there separate from my YouTube channel. The videos out there, judge how you will, but I'm still gonna be making cartoon beatbox battles. Who is puppet he beatbox who battles. Cares? Okay. My dude, since you asked, watch the uh, no, just, I'm not gonna play it again. Watch, um, what stream was it? He was the he made a video about Has Been Hotel or paid someone to make a video where basically the main character of Has Been Hotel rapes him and it's like softcore porn. Uh, and he's famous because he makes like a kids beatboxing channel where cartoon characters beatbox at each other. So I wanted to see his apology. Um, I mean, as far as that goes, I kind of feel bad for if that's true. If he didn't upload it to like his main channel and shit, I mean, it's still kind of weird. Um, but it's not as bad as I, I thought it was that he just uploaded it to his uh, main YouTube channel, which is kind of weird. You want to see it again? No, you did not. <laughs> that's too bad. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.